When assessing for patellofemoral knee pain, there's some specific orthopedic tests that we can do. First off, I'd start with palpation. So you, to just, uh, you can actually straighten your leg a bit. So you're gonna palpate the lateral and medial aspects of the patella, you know, getting underneath a little bit, assessing for any tenderness, and you can even create a little bit of patellar glide back and forth and up down a bit just to see if there's any crepitus or a grinding sensation. Okay, and then moving on from there, it's easy to just palpate down further along the patellar tendon. So if you have, you bend your knee there a little bit, Lindsay. So we find the patellar tendon and we're going to palpate on the lateral and medial side and we're going to follow it down towards its insertion right here on the ischial uh, tuberosa. Did I say ischial? On the tibial tuberosity. Uh, and so if there were tenderness right here on either side, we could say that that's a positive uh, Hoffa's fat pad sign. If you have a young person, especially an adolescent who's quite athletic and they complain of tenderness here along the uh, tibial tuberosity, then that's indicative of Oshkut Schlatter's uh, disease. So now if we um, bring the leg back down, Okay, so the last thing here that we can do is called Clark's test, where we're going to have Lindsay uh, basically tense up the quad. So do that actually. There you go. So you can see as, as Lindsay tenses up her quad, the patella translates superiorly. So what we're going to do is have you relax. I'm going to place my hand here and basically resist the movement of the patella uh, superiorly. So have you tense up the quad again. Good. And relax. You can relax now. Yeah. And then try it a couple more times. Okay, good, and one last one. Okay, so if there were any pain as uh, Lindsay tenses the quad with that patella translating superiorly, that would be a positive test for a, a patellar problem.